Hi everyone, it's Larissa. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I create my Instagram real covers using Canva. Let's start. So here we are at the Canva dashboard. Now, what you want to do is create an Instagram story click right here the blank one so this is a 16 by 9 ratio which is what you want now the important thing to note here about this this cover is that you want to have the most important information in the middle and what do I mean by this so when you post a reel to Instagram it will also post to your feed on your profile which is that which everything is in the shape of a square so the way I do this is to make sure that everything is again in the middle is I just create a simple guide. So let's go ahead and press R on your keyboard. And we want a square. So this is going to be 1080 by 1080. So just go ahead and drag that till you have it. A little bit more, a little bit more. Too much, too much, too much. Back it up, back it up. There, square. We want this directly in the middle. Now I already have my guides and rulers open, so just go to file and this click on your guides and rulers. So then I'm just gonna drag from the top, hit it one there, hit one there, boom, done, get rid of that. So now you have the guide. You want everything to be basically in the middle. So I'm going to create a template for myself. So I have all my colors here using my brand kit so I'm just gonna click that color and for my reels I always like to use a where is it the iPhone frame just so my audience knows that when they see a iPhone it's going to be a reel so I'm just gonna drag this down here then what I'm going to do is go back into your elements and let's look up a text bubble because I want to recreate a there's something like this and then we are going to put some elements in the background so I have some elements that I use regularly saved here so this is like a gradient effect here and you can just look up gradient effect on elements you should be able to find that so i just make sure i put in my colors just these are just my brand colors okay then i just like to put the transparency down by a little bit put that to the back then I'm just going to duplicate that by going Command or Control D, and then let's just reverse that. Push that to the back, 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 back. And I'm going to grab this element here. And I'm just going to change this green this green here and change this to a light sage and I'm gonna push it back so you can design this any way you want to make sure that it's on brand with your real estate brand now I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more here and this is where you would put basically the title of your reel so with my reels i just answer real estate questions and i call my series keeping it real estate or let's keep it real estate so i'm just gonna put that there but feel free to disregard this you can put whatever you want this is your cover page right and then at this point this is where you would add in a photo of yourself so I just take them all on my iPhone front facing camera and I just let's just use this one there you go and that's pretty much my cover page for my reel so go ahead at this point you can 
just download it as a PNG or a JPEG file. And for myself, because I work on an iMac, I'm able to download, download this directly to my desktop and then airdrop it to my iPhone. But if you can't do that, you can also just download the image and then drop it into a Google Drive folder. Or you can also download the Canva mobile app to your phone and then you can save this as an image directly to your photo gallery. And so that is it for my template on how I create my cover page for my IG Reels. If you wanna learn how I use them, you can go ahead and watch this tutorial right over here where I show you exactly how to do that. Until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye friends.